to market research. In module five, we will dive into the topic of building the quantitative and qualitative data behind the marketing strategy developed. So market research follows a market research plan. And in that market research plan, we follow the seven step process outlined in the textbook, where you define the problem to be solved, develop the research plan, select your data collection method, design the sample, collect the data, analyze and interpret, and prepare the report. Don't worry, we have an entire class on market research should you elect to move throughout the marketing pathway, but we're just gonna get a basic overview of market research here. Let's take a look at data collection in more detail. When we start to look at the collection of data, there is exploratory, descriptive, experimental, and ethnographic information. Exploratory is what we call qualitative. It's more general to learn about the industry and market. It's often thoughts, feelings from our consumers and something that is tough to quantify or measure. Descriptive data is quantitative. It is data collected to describe the situation in the market and help define an opinion, attitude, or behavior. It is often measurable and defined by objectives. Experimental or causal is the cause and effect relationship between two factors. This is a study that may decide if we do A, what occurs, if we do B, so we call A-B testing. And you'll learn more about in the Caesars example included in the module. Ethnographic data is a method of collecting data that is conducted by observation. So a secret shopper example, or watching consumers and how they interact within your retail location. I also want to draw your attention to the difference between primary and secondary data sources. Primary data is information collected directly for that study or information owned by your business. Your CRM data could fall in, your customer relationship management system could fall into primary data, but it is information and data points owned by your organization. Secondary data is an excellent resource, but it's important to know that secondary data is owned by an outside entity. Maybe it's the U.S. Census, maybe it's an industry resource like IBIS World, or an outside industry like Meta, Hootsuite, whoever it may be. While this information is so very robust and an excellent resource, it's very important to remind yourself that this data was not collected for this research point as outlined in your marketing research plan. This data was collected for an outside reason and is used by you for implementation as you develop your market research proposal and plan for implementation. With that, let's continue through the market research module to learn more about the market research plan and the introduction to market research.